Welcome back. Today we're talking about water heaters. In this case, this is a gas water heater, natural gas. Could be propane, it could be electric, doesn't matter. Water heaters inherently have a tank in them, unless they're those endless water heaters, which are a different beast. This tank is glass lined and then it has a warranty on it, usually anywhere from three to six to nine years. Maybe some have even longer than that. What makes that warranty really effective to make that water heater last a long time? Well, the inside of a water heater can be very, a very rough environment. Those um, tanks are generally not made of stainless steel. They are made of metal that can corrode, but then they're glass lined. That glass lining keeps them from deteriorating and rusting. Well, depending on your water quality, yours may go faster than that. Unbelievably, I installed this in 2002. Here we are in the year 2023, and I believe this was either a six or a nine year warranty. I think it was a six, and nine may not mean anything except for the series. So how have I gotten it to last this long? There's an anode rod inside your water heater that can be replaced. A lot of people do not know this. It's made of magnesium or aluminum most of the time, and you can just get right online and you can buy one for your water heater. So you can look up your model number and see the length. Most of them are a similar, similar threaded size, and they are right on the top. And sometimes the insulation that they put in here, you have to dig them out a little bit. This anode rod is right here. And so it's put in there pretty tough. You can get it out with a breaker bar, but in this case, I have electric ratchet gun and mine is a one and one sixteenth inch socket that I put in here. I know that's not an impact socket. I don't even have a bunch of impact sockets. I just have these lifetime standing. So if one of them cracks, I guess I'll just get it back based on that. And I have documented every time that I have changed the anode rod to extend the life of this. So what we, I, I came back and I had to guess it when I installed it. We've lived in this house since 2001. About a year later, I had to replace the, both water heaters. I have two, one on each side of this ranch configuration that we live in. I put in here later a simple table and I write it, yes, right on my water heater so I'll remember. Because I can't remember what happened a few weeks ago, much less years ago. And you can see that I inspected the anode rod in 2012, which was a pretty long time for this to last. I think maybe then it was a nine year and it was 60% gone. The anode rod was gone, I reported. And I replaced it with a 32 inch magnesium anode rod. I did it again in 2017. And reported again it was 60% gone and I replaced it again with a 32 inch magnesium rod. So let's take this one out today and see what it looks like. I already loosened it up. Lefty Lucy. And you can see here what the result is. They are meant to take and sacrifice themselves through a little exercise in science and physics. Getting a good contact in the threads anything that will attack the metal inside your water heater will first attack something that is a sacrificial anode first let's lay this down and take a look at it and you can see side by side that this sucker is at least 60 percent gone that would report maybe 70 percent gone in this case I've waited a little longer than I had planned, so it's been, what, about six years ago, according to my table over there? I'll have to look again. I have the new anode rod ready to go. This is a good chance and time to flush out your water heater. I have put Teflon pipe dope right there on the threads amply, and I'm going to put this anode rod back in. So this one's lasted since August of 2017 and here we are in february of 2023 
I think that's five and a half years. So that's a good, actually a pretty good interval that you don't want to go anything beyond that checking your anode rod. And if you think, you just drop it right in there. Just like that. You want to make sure, you know, before you start this process that the water's off, I actually turned the flame out on mine, drained a little bit. Didn't flush mine, but you could do that. Now I'm just going to put it in there righty tighty. And I'm going to take my impact tool and give it a little nudge in there. And we'll be done for the next five and a half or six years. And then we'll put another one in. I hope. I hope I got this one in time and I hope that this just keeps this one going along. If you've watched some of my other videos about some of your home maintenance, now this is just a game to me. Wouldn't it be great if I got um, 30, 40 years out of this water heater? Because they're expensive, just like everything else. I appreciate you watching. Hope you learned something today. I think I did when I opened up this and learned that you need to drain things first and you need to drain a little bit out of here and make sure your water's off. I had to get out here and start drying a few things up. So I learned something too. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.